go on to gmeoutility.org and you can punch in your PPS number into the search. Always leave a gap after the third number. But try this also with your birth certificate because you'll be able to see how many companies around the world are trading by bonds that were created by you if if you're using the PPS number, these are bonds that were created by any public documents that you've signed. Any documents you sign in the public get turned into a bond and floated up onto the stock market. If you use your birth certificate number, you'll be able to see how many companies around the world have been trading using your birth certificate, which is also a bond. Now, when you hear people say we have a debt-based currency that's backed by nothing, that's not entirely true. We're the ones that back the currency. And this is just one of the ways that they keep bringing more debt into the world. So in 1934, when the government went bankrupt and had nothing left to pledge to the banks but the people themselves, this is what they did. And you'll see where we went wrong when you have a look at the birth certificate, because the birth certificate says that your name is just your Christian name. But we've made the mistake in incorporating it with the surname, which is actually copyrighted by the state. Thus, we've created a corporation and a legal title which is a legally dead fiction under civil law. Therefore, you are civilly dead and you have no rights. The state is actually surety for this and liable for this. However, they try to pile it off onto us by us stupidly accepting the legal name title as ours when it is not. So this is why you always end up getting fined. Anytime you take the stand and claim that that legal name title is yours when it is not, you're accepting surety for it. And this is how the corpus juris works, the jurisdiction of the dead. You are always guilty, no matter what.